One of the most asked questions I get is how I make my replay mud shots look so cool. And I'm going to attempt to show you how I do it in this video. First of all, you need a replay mod clip. I'm going to use one that I already had from the Nations event that recently happened. For this case, since you're trying to go for the Rasplin style replay mod shots, I'm going to assume you're trying to go for flashy shots, not some boring B-roll, right? Because if you want to just do a normal B-roll shot for like explaining storytelling, what you'll do is set your FOV to 30, by the way. A B-roll shot's simple, right? You just put a point, move, put a pause it, put another point using these, and then you can boom. There you go, simple shot. I'm gonna assume most of you know how to do that already if you're using replay mod, right? That's really easy. But say you wanna do something a little more dramatic, like a spin, right? First of all, the first thing I always do is get some shaders on and I use complimentary shaders. You don't have to, but this helps me like with the shots and boom, instantly I feel a lot more cinematic and I can get in the groove. <laughs> what I'm looking for when I'm doing a shot is for where the action is gonna happen. In my case, I already know what happens, so I kind of have an idea of where things will be. But for instance, people are gonna be using fire abilities over here, right? So I know that if I want my shot to have the action in it, I'm gonna have to be here in a few seconds. So what I'll do is start it off. I'll do my first point. And the secret to getting control of this, it's mostly practice, but the secret is understanding the speed equation, right? Distance over time. The farther you travel, like this far, you know, this is way farther than traveling a few blocks. The farther you travel and the amount of time you have, then the faster you're gonna get there, right? So if you want a very fast shot, then you're gonna put two points pretty close together in time, but pretty far apart in distance. So maybe I'll pa unpause it, pause again right here. This is a little farther, so put another point there. That's gonna be a little farther, so it's gonna be a fast shot at this part. And if I want to circle around here even faster, I pause it briefly. Let's go all the way over here. Put another point. So now, when we do the shot, that part that I just did over there should be a little faster than the start because of how far I traveled in a shorter amount of time. Hopefully that makes sense. And we can see it's following the action. Gets a little faster. See right there, it's way faster. If you've watched a lot of my replay mod shots, you'll notice one of the tactics I use a lot is that using speed. Different speeds at different parts of the shot makes it more engaging. Because a B-roll shot, a simple shot I showed earlier, is just gonna be like the same speed. That's boring. If you're doing an action shot like this, you want to have different speeds and you want to have different angles too. If you don't know, you can use a J and L and K to tilt it. So I use tilts in pretty much every shot I, as you can see right here. I'll just tilt it a bunch through each point. I'm envisioning in my mind right now like I want to have a shot that swoops in, goes back up like over here, right? So what I'll do is play it. I want to have a tiny bit of tilt. Let's go here. You basically need your camera to go through the shot like with each point till you eventually end up here. So you can imagine we're gonna have to play it again. We're gonna have to be farther up here looking a little more this way, right? If you want it to curve around smoothly. Pause, and pause, pause again. Now we're up here and I'm gonna change elevation a little bit too. If you add more elevation, Elevation changes in your shots, then it kind of makes it fly more like a like a drone rather than just a pan. Let's see what that shot looks like. You can see the tilt actions happening a little bit. Now we're gonna curve around this little blue flame here. It's gonna go up, smooth turn because I gradually put it in with each point, and then we're gonna zoom out so we can see the rest of the action because I know there's a lot of people here now, so that's why I zoomed out so you can see everybody. A lot of this stuff is just practice. I know all these things just from doing replay shots a lot. So my best advice to you if you wanna have your own unique shots like this is just practice it a lot. One more thing I'll show you is how I do um, barrel rolls because I use those a lot and people say those are like the coolest thing. So let's go right here. I'll even set the speed to like half speed so we can do a slow motion shot, right? We'll do a follow shot on this like lightning thing. I used this in the intro of my nation season one video, but basically what we're gonna do is start the camera here and when I shoot this lightning bolt out, the camera's gonna follow it as it flies in the air. And we're gonna do a barrel roll while doing it. It sounds complicated, but I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it so that you can try it for yourself even. You kinda wanna start it right before it happens. So I'm gonna put my first point here and I'm doing this in half speed so it's a little easier to follow it. Cause if you do this in real time, it's kind of fast, you know? But second point, we were like this much tilt before. We're going to tilt it even more, slightly more. You wanna do it gradually so that it actually is a smooth turn. But now we're gonna wait to fly and boom, pause it right there. It's flying now. So we're gonna tilt it slightly more. We'll do like halfway and we're gonna get right next to it. Boom, unpause, pause. I'm doing it pretty fast pauses because it flies really fast. So you don't wanna like fall too far behind. But now at this point in time, you want your camera shot to be like at the front of it. So let's go like right here and don't forget to tilt a little more. And I think that's the end of its projectile. So what we're gonna do is kind of finish up the spinning a little bit. And what I'm also gonna do because it's the end of the shot is look up a little bit to have a smooth loop around. So I'm we're just gonna do the same process but like finish up the curve a little bit basically what i did is just finish up the circle and then for my last shots i'm gonna turn it back around into the action so it spins around at the end so hopefully that looks like what i wanted to but let's see so we can see it shoots right there okay okay it gets a little faster but there we go the barrel roll work okay 
A little awkward, but it did the full spin. And one other thing I'll mention that a lot of beginner replay mod users do is like not getting close enough to the action. For an action shot like this, you want to literally be like a drone flying through the battlefield. Like that, imagine like that. Rather than a, a person watching over here, you can be the person in the fight if you go through them like this. So yeah, this is a simple one, but as you can see, I'm going through the people and it kind of feels like you're there. So yeah, that's kind of it. Hopefully you guys can try this out in your videos now because I like to see more videos with replay mod in it, especially like cool shots like that. But yeah, enjoy and leave any comments if you have them. I'll try to respond. Okay, bye.